Castle here from Acton Fremantle. And I'm sitting here on this beautiful day outside of this beautiful piece of art in sunny Fremantle to just let you know what's happening in the real estate market and in Fremantle in general. This is the first of many weekly updates, so we're just gonna keep it short, sharp, and simple. First of all, uh, it's the beginning of 2016. What happened in the Perth property market last year? Well, it was a bit up and a bit down, but at the end of the year, over that final quarter, it actually did stabilise and it came back just a little with the median house price increasing slightly, uh, largely due to the fact that the number of listings dropped. So we, we dropped about 2,000 listings and that helped the, um, the market to sort of stabilise and, and get a little bit stronger. In Fremantle, over 2015, it actually, the median price is about 810,000. It dropped just a little, about 1.3%. South Fremantle just held its own. It didn't make any gains or losses. It went up to 0% for the year, um, and the median house price is 970,000. And finally, East Fremantle. Well, East Fremantle had some growth. It grew by 3.4%, which was fantastic, with a median house price at 1.2 million. So although there's lots of doom and gloom about the market in Perth in general, and you know some areas have been hit quite significantly, Fremantle's held its own all the way through um, because of our lifestyle. We love living here and people love to live here. So Fremantle's done pretty well. Okay, now just locally what's happened, uh, we had a sale in um, Moss Street, um, 37 Moss Street in East Fremantle at the end of December and that was held, uh, we held an auction for that one. We had multiple bidders and it sold under the hammer which was fantastic. It just goes to show though the demand is still there for renovators. People are really looking for that, that little bit of property that they can buy, uh, you know, a bit cheaper. Um, that they can actually put $100,000 or $200,000 into and actually get some equity straight away, um, make it their own. Um, you know, so every time we have a property that's on the market that needs some work, some renovation, we tend to get a fantastic response from the market and you know, all the stats go out the window. You know, we have heaps of people through home opens, lots of interest, multiple bidders. So if you've got a renovator, an auction is the way to go and this is still a really good time for you to sell for sure. It's a very strong market. Now, what's happening in Fremantle? Well, the Frio Royale brings the Fringe, uh, Fringe World Festival back. That starts on the 28th of January and it goes to the 7th of Feb and that's got a whole heap of various events, heaps of comedy, music, theatre, art. It's a fantastic event in Fremantle. It'll keep us busy. Lots of people will be coming to visit, I'm sure. Uh, so have a look out for that and see if you can um, get in some of those really great comedy acts in all various different venues around Fremantle. They even have a really great little pop-up bar there in front of the town hall, which is really classic. The Su South Beach Sunset Markets, well, they were in Fremantle. They've moved to South Beach and they're every uh, Saturday night from 5 till 9 right through summer. And, of course, don't forget about the Australia Day Fireworks next week. Um, be on the foreshore and enjoy. Okay, that's all for now and I'm looking forward to giving you a more detailed report as we get the true end of the figure results from Rewind.